warriors melita here welcome <laughs> it's been a minute if you are new welcome if you're old welcome back and i've been gone for months but we all know why but good news is i am back and we're gonna be back to regular program and we're gonna be filming until it's time for baby to come okay so by the grace of god nothing's gonna be stopping us anymore so i just thought you know what let me bring myself in slowly because it's been a while since i too sat in front of the camera so i decided to come in with this simple but glam body bombshell brown skin girl beep <laughs> all right if you want to know how i created this look then stay tuned okay guys so i'm gonna start by priming my face and i will be using the touch and sew no problem primer and i'll just rub that in it been a minute like for real i feel i had to literally do my setup all over again because everything was just all over the place i've been not in the mood for makeup for the past few weeks i haven't been wearing makeup a lot lately or the past few months but uh, i used to do this before so this is my pressed powder and i'm gonna go into that and put it on my face first to Water, set everything and that helps my um foundation last longer i learned this back in the days from auntie jackie yes jackie Ina. been watching her forever i don't know why i stopped but i've been doing it again and it kind of helps with coverage and setting everything okay so foundation I will be using the Huda Beauty Pro. Is it Pro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Fuck filter. Fuck filter. I'm using <laughs> the Huda Beauty Foundation, okay, you guys? And I'm in a shade. Nugmare. I will leave them down below if I don't say it all. I usually just put my foundation on top of this. And, um, okay, so when doing no eyeshadow i should have told you guys that yeah we're not gonna be doing eyeshadow and this is the what is this mario badescu cucumber cucumber what listen i am what is going on with me set it on melita i know you've been gone for a minute but come on girl get yourself together get your life right all right this is the morphe brush and uh this is the m6 brush i love this brush for um my foundation me personally i am a full coverage foundation kind of girl even when i'm wearing the everyday makeup look i still want my full coverage that's my preference okay so with the huda beauty foundation it really does it for me it does the job for me you see that that was like what one pump yeah we're just gonna do a little transformation here give this pregnant face a snatch yes i to blend my foundation by going with a damp beauty blender and this is the real technique sponge now i'm just gonna spray my face I just go ahead and push it back in there because I like my foundation to look like skin. I mean, even though it's not my skin, but that don't mean it can be flawless. Blending is key. Tell me. For my concealer, I love going in with two. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin and this is for a bright future. This is much darker. So I'm going to go in with that first because I like to look highlighted. But first, go in with a darker concealer. It works for me. That's why I do it. You can do one. You don't have to do two. But uh, like I said, two works for me. I 
went ahead and let it sit for like a few minutes, seconds. When you let your concealer sit, you get a lot more coverage. I learned that and it is true. Now, if you're not the highlight, highlight girl, you can stick with this. But if you want to look a little bit more highlighted, like I do right now, then what we're going to do next is the lighter one which is the Urban Decay. Mm. It smells so good. All right, we're gonna let this sit again. Let's get to blending. I let that sit. I like to do these places first, like my forehead, bridge of my nose, my chin first, just to give my under eye even more time to sit. Cause that's the place I need all of that highlighting coverage the most, because as you can see, your girl have some bags going on under her eye. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to that. with the brush I go um the sponge I go in with the brush and just make sure everything's like more seamless cover FX contour and it's cream contour I haven't used it in so long and I'm just gonna go in there with my brush it's kind of dry just put some oil in there and just now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything in and I like to blend upward because I want to lift like so when you bring it down, you're doing the opposite. Makes <laughs> sense. Okay, let me get to blending. So. Every cream or liquid must be set with powder. So I'm going to go in with my cover, cover face, Tarte Contour Palette and just go right in here and um, set everywhere that I put the cream contour. This is she. Now, calling from the OBGYN department. Okay. <laughs> because I see that you have an appointment with the doctor on Monday the 16th at 12 Yes. But, uh, oh, yes. That was a long after. I'm going to be going in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I'm just going to go ahead and set the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Oh my God. What does it have? Um, and I'm gonna be going back in with my Laura Mercier powder. Yeah. Oh, I hit pan already. Can you see that? I gotta get a new powder and just sweep away everything else, like so. I like to go back in with that spray with um the is, it, is that a point in the ray? Yes, I like to go back in with the Mario Badescu water and just spray my entire face. just to make sure everything melts in together. Okay, now we're gonna move on to giving my eyes life. I'm gonna be going in with these lashes. This is the Lily Lashes, my favorite lashes, Vegas. I love this style of Vegas because it's just extra dramatic. And when, for those days that I'm not wearing much, I reach out for it. Lashes are on ice, getting tacky. I'm gonna go in with mascara to prep my real lashes to give the fussy something to hold on to. The thing I do is use my glue as a liner and that really been helping keep my lashes in for a very long time. Keep them on throughout the day without worrying about any lifting.
I'm just gonna go with some mascara and my lower lash. And I already lined them. I use a brown liner. Look at these lashes. Tell me you don't love them. They are just beautiful. Oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna highlight using the Becca highlighter. Once I get my hands on um, a brush. Can you see it? Now I'm gonna seal everything in, make sure it don't go anywhere, not moving. This is the Melanie Mel sealing spray for the Glam Body Radiance, but I've been using it for my face. I mean, it's meant to, it's um, water resistant, transfer resistant. So I feel like, why not? And oof, been doing this thing. So for my lip, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Nutty by Nature. A brown pencil this is by nyx and and i'm just gonna apply the lipstick Okay guys, this is the end. I love how this look turned out. You can go ahead and tap this lip with gloss, but if you know me, I'm not a big fan of lip gloss. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do that. Till next time, be safe, stay blessed, and fabulous. <laughs> Bye guys.